Welcome! In front of me I have Motorola Moto Watch 70 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. First, you will need to turn on your watch and you can turn it on by pressing and holding the side button. Keep holding the button until you see the uh, Motorola logo on the screen and once you see the logo you can release the button and wait until the watch boots up. And after the watch boots up you will need to download and install the Motorola Moto, Moto Watch Lite application on your uh, iPhone. So make sure you have the internet connection and Bluetooth enabled on your iPhone. Once you do, open the App Store and the App Store uh, tap on search, tap on the search bar and type in Moto uh, Watch Lite and tap on search. And you should see this application on the list, Moto Watch Lite. Tap on it, then tap on the get button to download and install it. After the application is done installing, tap on open. And here, check the boxes. I believe you need to check both of them. Yes, and tap on agree. Now we need to log in into an account. If you don't have an account, you can use the Google or Apple account, or you can make a new one by tapping on user registration. I already have an account, so I'm gonna log in into mine. Okay, and after you log in, you will need to set up a profile and you can select the gender, then you can um, select the height, weight, and the bear, date of birth, basically. And then tap on complete. And once you're done with the profile, you will see some pop-ups about the permissions. The Bluetooth one is required, so I recommend to allow it by tapping on allow. And if you don't see any pop-ups, uh, again, tap on the account icon right here. Tap on add watch. Set the Moto Watch 70. Tap on connect device. The app should start searching for the nearby devices and it should detect your Moto Watch 70. Once it does, tap on confirm. If you see this page, basically what we can do here is to allow the Moto Watch Lite application to write and read the data for the health features like heart rate, steps and sleep. So if you, for example, want to record your steps, you will need to allow the app to write the data for the steps. If you want to read them, or rather check your step status, you will need to allow the read, reading uh, permission and stuff like that. As, uh, also, we have the pop-up about the location permission. I'm gonna allow it, but you can deny it. So I'm gonna enable all of the features. You don't need to, but I, if you want to use health features on your watch, I recommend to allow them. And if you see the pairing request, tap on pair. As you can see, the pop-ups on the about the permissions are just going. There's no like reason to it; they just pop up. And uh, next, we have the notification permission. This is useful if you want to see or rather receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch. If you don't care, you can deny it. If you want to use this feature, allow the permission. Finally, we can finish this. So let's enable it and tap on allow. You can tap on don't allow, but some of the health features might not work if you do that then tap on complete, complete. And you should see your Moto Watch 70 on the list of my watches. And if you wake up the screen on your watch, open the quick panel, you will see this chain link icon, which indicates that the watch is connected with a phone. And that's how you enable, or rather not enable, that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving the like on the video.